So one night around May 2019, I was just chilling in my bed, didn't have anything to do the next day. I was in alternative school and only went to school three days a week. One of my friends hit me up and asked if I wanted to go over to someone named Daniel's house. Keep in mind, Daniel's parents were out of town for the night. I have never met Daniel before, but Sam said him, his girl, and another dude were over there getting high and chilling, but Daniel and the other people, we will call them Sam and Wilson, they both drank 800 milligrams of DXM and took 35-25 milligram Benadryls. This was a crazy shock for me because I had taken Benadryl once and only took 15 and it was scary, but he said we weren't going to do any. This would turn out to be false in the future. So I said fuck it and went over to Daniel's house, which I had to walk 4 miles to get there, so keep that in mind. I meet with Sam and his girlfriend at some apartments behind Daniel's house and we get there. I sneak through the window and when I walk down the hall, the first thing I see is Wilson sitting against the front door with his face in his hands. I was like, okay, I didn't know him so I just walked away. But Daniel was in his room bugging out on his bed. He couldn't make coherent sentences and was just blabbering so I go back to the living room and me, Sam and his girl spark up a few joints and as time passes, Wilson starts to roam around the house, not making any sense but still trying to complete some sort of tasks in his delirium world. I guess Wilson was the type of guy who didn't care what happened to him when he tripped. Sam showed me texts from Wilson from the previous night they had planned it. That Wilson wanted us to mess with him while he was tripping cause it would make the night crazier or something. Anyways, me, Sam and his girl were teasing Wyatt around and he was chill. It was funny like asking where the fridge went when it was right in front of him or looking for something that's not there. It was all shits and giggles until later in the night around 3am. Sam convinced me to take 17 Benadryls with him, which I was really skeptical because I would snuck out so I had to be home early, but he said he would Uber me home and everything would be fine, so I agreed. I took all 17 and Sam lays out his 17, but we go in Daniel's room for a second and when we come out, the Benadryl is gone and Wilson is sitting on the bar stool next to the counter where the Benadryl was with his head down and we call his name. When he looks up, his face is pale. He didn't look good. We knew he had taken them, but we couldn't get a direct answer from him because he was just blabbering nonsense. This would set Wilson at a total of 52 Benadryl. We laid him down, got some water, and he started to chill. But my trip was kicking in, and I started to feel really weird. Sam promised we could smoke up together and have some grub on his little couch in the living room, but when the time came, he didn't let me on and sat up there with his girlfriend and left me to lay on the floor. I wasn't going to argue, he was two years older than me and bigger, and I didn't want to kill the vibe so I let it be. I laid on the floor and my trip got intense. I saw what looked to be a rainbow circus of hundreds of dancing ants and spiders, but they were almost holographic. Wicked shit. Then we all go into Daniel's room to mess around with him a bit. Then I sort of blacked out. I kinda zone in and I'm standing in Daniel's room on my phone just swiping around the home screen. And the little banner when someone calls you on iPhone pops up. And it's my dad. Fuck. I gotta get home. I go to answer, but he hangs up immediately. Did he find out I was gone and changed his mind and wants to wait for me to get home to talk to me? I immediately ran to the living room, grabbed all my weed stuff and shoved it in my pockets. I said bye and dipped, but I was never on my phone. I never had my phone. That whole time I was hallucinating. Now as soon as I got out the window, I blacked out. The way I was supposed to go back to my house was right, but I went left. My memory fades back to me somewhere at the front of a neighborhood with a sign and some bushes. Oh cool, this is by my neighborhood. I have to put my weed here because my dad might search me, is what I said to myself. I leave the weed in those bushes and I black out again. My memory fades back to me walking in a big long dark field. I just want to say this first. I don't have my AirPods, vape, or phone from here on out. My memory fades back. I'm walking and I see my AirPods go flying out of my pocket. So I walk back a few steps and bend down and it was almost like there was a light shining on the grass. I could see it so clear. 
When I go to grab my AirPods, they start sinking into the grass. In a panic, I start ripping up the grass trying to get them, but I couldn't. Oh, I'll just go get some new ones, I thought. I keep walking, same thing. I see my phone fly to my pocket this time though. I reach down to grab it, it starts sinking. Oh, I'll just go get a new one, I thought again. Then my vape goes flying. The same thing repeated at least 30 times, but I never questioned it once. I black out again. Now I'm in a truck. I look around. The interior looks like my friend Lance's truck. Huh, this is weird. He must be picking me up from school to smoke or something. I look to my left, and there's a Hispanic man and woman who seem to be partners, and they open the door and start asking me if I'm okay, if I have a family, do I need food and water, etc. I look around and notice something is off, and I see a random house and tell them I'm waiting on my friend to get something out of that house. They say okay and I shut the door and get on my imaginary phone and start swiping again. Then I black out once again. I wake up in the passenger seat, but I'm on a street next to a roundabout, and almost as soon as I look up, a cop car comes flying around the corner and parks in front of the truck. I look over to the driver's seat. I don't see anyone in there, but I'm still tapping on the headrest yelling, Lance! Lance! The cops are here! The cop comes around to my side and opens the door, and throws me out of the car and to the ground and handcuffs me. He starts asking me if I took anything from this man's truck. Why am I in the truck? I say, no, why would I ever steal anything from my friends? I look up and I swear to God, I see Lance and his ex-girlfriend doing dabs in his truck out of his rig. I was so confused how the cops didn't arrest him, but they arrested me. Marijuana is illegal in my state. The cop rudely asked me why I wasn't in school, and I said, Because I don't got school today, dumb fuck. Which he pointed his finger at my face and got a little angry, but he walked away. An ambulance pulls up, and they sat me in the stretcher, still handcuffed. They then ask if I know a Wilson or Daniel. I say no, but now I am shitting bricks, still high as balls. Some paramedic woman who couldn't be older than 22 locks the ambulance up and starts questioning me. She asked what year it is. I thought she asked what ear it is, and at that time I was missing my left AirPod, so I pointed to my left ear. I don't know how that thought process came to mind, but she re-asked the question. I say 2019. She asked about the president, then my age, and I nailed them. But then she asked the fateful question, what did you take? I said nothing, then she gives me a look, and I ask, will you tell my parents? She said no. I said I took acid and I went on a walk and got lost. She asked, are you scared? I said no and she left the ambulance, but then joked around with six other officers about my answer to that question. They sit me in the back of the police car and I didn't have an ID so they start asking me my information, but I refused thinking I would be let free. Turns out it doesn't work like that and they took me down to the police station in which the ride felt like forever. But as soon as we pulled in that little garage area, I blurted out my information and said, tell my dad to come get me right now. So my dad arrives and he is pissed. He said I looked like I hadn't slept in three days and my eyes were wide as a bat. He lectures me the whole way home, but I only got grounded for two days. But Wilson and Daniel did not have the same outcome. They both try to get on the school bus in the morning, but Daniel was shoeless, sockless, shirtless, and looked like a total zombie when he got on the bus. But Wilson, also shirtless, was stuck with his hand on a mailbox swaying back and forth. There was a video of this, and another video of Wilson running away from the bus scared. They weren't allowed to hang around each other again, and both got grounded for several months. Moral of the story. Don't do DPH. My brain is still fried four years later. DPH not only causes problems like this, but mental problems in the future. 
If you haven't seen my video on how DPH is linked to dementia, please watch that next. It is very informational and I think everyone should watch it, especially the young people who are interested in taking this drug. This is something you should never take because it doesn't produce a high and it's just not fun. You just take it because you feel like doing it and there's nothing else you can do. I know because I have experience. Anyways, just buy fucking weed, or even do fucking acid, or whatever. Just don't do that. Well, don't huff gasoline either. You know that. That's common sense. For most of you, at least. But yeah, don't do this. I know Benadryl is a meme and shit, but don't be part of that meme. Don't be part of the statistic. Don't be the idiot that takes this. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please give it a like, and subscribe if you're new. Alright, have a wonderful day, and please stay safe out there.